William Cullen Bryant, 1794-1878, by Michael and Anthony Chillo. William Cullen Bryant led a very active life. He was a lawyer, journalist, poet, and editor. As a journalist, William C. Bryant campaigned for free speech, free trade, the rights of workmen, and the abolition of slavery. He was a spokesperson for the common people, laborers, and mechanics in the city and on its small farms in the country. As a poet, he is an important presence in American literary history. His works were the beginning of American poetry. He was born in Massachusetts, November 3rd, 1794. Bryant was recognized as a poet at an early age. He was considered a child prodigy. At 10 years old, he published his first poem. And at 13, his first book, Embargo. And at 17, he wrote The Thanarchosis, a meditation on nature and death. He practiced law for 10 years in Massachusetts. Then he moved to New York City. He lived at 428-353 Lafayette Street and 24 West 16th Street, attached to Xavier High School, and the Sidamir House in Roslyn Harbor, which is located on Bryant Avenue in Roslyn Harbor, New York, till he died from a fall in 1878. He is buried in Roslyn Cemetery. He became the associate editor of New York Evening Post in 1826. Then in 1829, he became part owner and editor-in-chief. Many schools, libraries, and streets, including his own in Roslyn, are named after him, including the well-known Bryant Park in New York City. William Tell by William Cullen Bryant Chains may subdue the feeble spirit by thee. Tell of the iron heart, they cannot tame me. For though worth of the mountains, they proclaim the everlasting creed of liberty. That creed is written on the untrampled snow, thundered by torrents which no power can hold, save that of God, when he sends forth his cold, and breath by winds that through the free heaven blow, though while the they prison walls were dark around, didst mediate the lesson nature taught, and to thee brief captivity was brought. A vision of the Switzerland unbound, the bitter cup they mingled, stretched thee for the great work to set the country free. This poem is about a man named William Tell. In the poem it describes Mr. Tell as a strong iron-hearted man that did things his way. The poem takes place in winter time. William Tell is defiant, arrested, and sparks a revolution.